Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Prefectures video. We're going to be looking at the Star Ocean collab characters. There's three of them. Let's we'll start with Rena. Um, so she does not have as good of an STMR as she had when she was a 5 star, but it's decent, but not amazing. It's just, it's just decent, I guess. For her, it's pretty good, of course, because it gives her 500 flat magic. And I should tell you already that she is the magic character with some other things. Um, she can also equip Fist, of course, just like, you know, how she should be able to. That could be a route you would go down. Earth and Light magic, uh, amp, so good. Um, she has a store buff. She also has the Nullify, which is good, like just like her other form did have. Uh, she has some healing and things. Uh, one thing that is also very apparent that she's missing, unless I'm not seeing it. In fact, we're going to search for it. Yeah, she doesn't have any stronger fist uh, in peril, so that would be something you would have to figure out if you want to use her as a damage dealer. But if you don't want to do that, she can still be a damage dealer, but she also has uh, cure, uh, remove all debuffs from all allies and then cure all status damage from all allies. That's actually a very powerful cooldown on six turns. So pretty good, pretty good cooldown there. And then 750 MP recovery for three uses. That's quite good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is she non? Uh, I guess she wouldn't be non-elemental. Uh, of course, I call this that. That I'm just going to spoil this right now. Two of the characters. Their leader skills are not going to be as good as the one that is the main focus. So, I called this in my news video. I said that, you know, if there's three leaders, obviously two of them are probably not going to be as good. They're going to be more, you know, a lot less percentage. Uh, so, a thousand percent to light. Okay. I feel like the earth ant that she has is not as useful because she's a magic damage dealer. So, she's mainly a light damage dealer. She's not really earth, but she does have some earth stuff if you really want that. She has a lot of store buffs that you can use, so that's good. At least a thousand magic if you equip her TMR and STMR, very good. And it looks like she is going to be a TDH unit. So yeah, she's good. I like some of the support stuff that she has. Obviously, this is not going to be as amazing because we've had 400% buffs on on these New Vision Plus units now. So I like some. I like I like what she can provide, but I don't think she's like a must-have. I think she's just like a, a neat collectible character if you really want that, but I don't think she's must have, which just makes me sad because I thought I was going to pull for her, but with the lack of fist in peril, obviously you can't bring her with another one. Uh, she would need some support. So she's really like a dark vision character. I would, I would go like 7.5 for her. Her field is very good though. She does have a very good field. She has like a double field effect where she has a 70% amp, but also has a 40% light amp, uh, light in peril field, sorry. Uh, so that's, that, that helps her score, keep her at 7.5. But the lack of fist in peril really hurts her a lot. And her damage is not going to be nearly as high, but she does have the 100% amp. So good character, but not really a must have. All right, next character, Priestess. And S -tumor, Tumor and S Tumor are really nothing that crazy. She's obviously going to be a physical damage dealer because she is focusing on attack. She can equip hammers for some reason, even though her STMR is a fist. So you're probably not going to worry about that too much. And you'll see already she's lacking an amp. She's lacking 150% amp, so I can already tell you a lot of what this character is lacking. She has 120 times mod buff. Uh. So she uh, kind of goes downhill after that. Um, there's nothing really here that's crazy. 100, 200 times mod, I guess. For only for one turn though. She has Fist in Peril. So Rana was not able to get this into Peril, but the she is able to. So that's, explain that. Uh, leader skill, like I mentioned before, is not going to be as good. 1000% for lightning, and she's a lightning, or she's not an elemental actually. I was expecting her to be lightning locked. So you could 
use Rena with her. You could use Priestess with Rena because she does have a Fist of Pearl. I'm assuming that's the intent here. Yeah, I'm assuming that's the intent of, of this. And obviously your SLB gets the 200 times modifier. I don't know if they stack or not. I don't care enough to to work to see if it'll stack or not. <coughs> Will this even last? It says for one turn. Oh, it auto casts. Okay, that's pretty good then. Yeah, her her damage is actually going to be pretty decent. But let's check the I'm gonna check the actual damage numbers. So despite her having higher modifiers, uh, her her she does not have 150% amp. So I'm checking the numbers right now. She is. Below Onionite. That should tell you everything you need to know. Onionite's not good in any sense of the word. And and yeah, so kind of embarrassing. So just not, I don't really understand the purpose of this character other than just being with Rena if you want to do that. And it doesn't even really seem worth it because both of their damage numbers are really not that high. So I'm gonna give this, like she doesn't have an amp field or anything. She has a, this is not even worth pulling for this 160% light in peril, lightning in peril. Just not worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and give her like a six. I, I don't see any value in this at all. I see absolutely zero value in this character. Just weak damage, nothing special. So anyways, on to the talk of the town. Which I think most of you guys predicted if you were following this collab. You pretty much predicted that this guy would probably be the main deal. So we have Claude here. Obviously he's going to be the main attraction. Uh, light armor. You're probably not going to use that. You're probably going to use his STMR. World Saviors. He is a World Saviors leader. Yeah, spoiler alert. He is a World Saviors leader at the 1,250%. Also, he's a light, but he's a lot weaker with the light. So, okay, so he is the main focus here because he actually is a little below um, Cloud. It looks like a little bit below Cloud, which is already really impressive. And so, pretty good damage numbers here. He has he has two hundred percent light and peril field, uh, not a field, just a, for two turns light and uh, light and peril. 150% amp for multiple elements. Um, pretty good. 200% killers for some stuff. He has some imbues. He has 89% breaks, not 90% like Terra does, but that's okay. Um, pretty good. Some imperils as well. Decrease physical accuracy that could be I don't know maybe a little bit useful I don't know maybe maybe not and then kind of the same thing with cloud uh, this really isn't good but it's there if you really need it and also a sword and fist or a sword and gun in peril of 50% pretty good TDH unit of course obviously his STMR is two unit uh, pretty good yeah, I'd say he's pretty good. And his damage, of course, is going to be very high because his modifier is 870. Plus the 100 times, plus the 120 times, that's going to be over 1,000. So, yeah, he's good. I feel like he's like a chaining... Chain, <coughs> sorry about that. Chaining version of Cloud, who is also non-elemental. That's highly valuable. Non-elemental, you know, LB users are going to be highly valuable, especially since he has... No, Multiple elements you can use for the 150% amp. So you can choose fire, ice, or light as his element. So he has three to choose from if you want to, you know, you can use any element, but those are the main focus that you'd want to use them for. So I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.5 out of 10. The lower field effect here kind of drags him down a little bit. And not having 90% breaks at this point is kind of dragging them down a little bit. Um, but that's about it. That's all I can really say like these this is not that amazing This is not that amazing. It's just it's it's decent It's it's decent, but spoil Tara kind of spoiled me now a little bit now that she has 90% defense and spirit breaks it kind of spoiled me a little bit, but oh, I like this uh, 20 bit 20 LB fill 
That's pretty useful. Alright. Well, with that out of the way, we're going to talk about the Global Vision card. That's all, that's all we have to talk about. Alright, so let's talk about the Global card. Of course, the artwork is very good. I know it doesn't look like your CG animation because it's a different art style and uh, it's an actual art of her instead of just a CG animation. So obviously it's going to be different. 170 attack and magic, very good. The, the first one is a lot of fluff, but it's nice fluff. Uh, some good stats, not just attack and magic, you also get some other good stats. Plus some killers. Um, fairies, very useful. Demon not as much, but you also get some resistances. Also, you're 200 or 700, 750 flat stats because basically you're getting that for because you're running Clash of Wills characters and FFB characters pretty much at the same time. Uh, so this is a very good card. I would say this is in the top five best cards of all time, at least like custom ones. Maybe over, t maybe even not custom ones. Maybe just g generically any card in the top five. Uh, just because of all this stuff here, and then you get you just get flat stats for attack or magic, not just attack or magic, you get both. So, very good card, but should you chase it? Probably not. I don't think they'll do like a thing where they, like I remember before they did like a anniversary thing where you could get a, a ticket and then you can choose a vision card from that, from a pool, and they did it some of the... Um, older ones a long time ago, but I don't know if they're gonna do that now. But if they did, they might want to do that then. But not now. Not now. It's it's a very good card though. If you're a whale or a dolphin or someone who spends money and you want to get this card, definitely get it. It's a very good card, but if you're not, if you're free to play or someone who barely spends money at all and are lacking lapis, you should not chase this card. So I'm gonna give this card like a 9 out of 10. If you're, if you're wondering about a score, 9 out of 10 uh, I don't really grade these cards very highly because normally they're just okay to being average, being whatever. Uh, but this is, this is good for once. Alright, this video is already way too long for this kind of a video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Star Ocean Cloud probably will come to global because they've come before in the past. If you're new to the game, we've had Star Ocean Clabs on global before, so probably expect it. I don't know. Probably expect it. Anyways, see you in the next video. Peace.